Hey, it's Friendly, and this is part two of the Vow of the Disciple raid done quick. Part one will be linked in the description. Part two is killing the first boss called the Caretaker. As you enter part two, it will require the same mechanics. You're going to see doors, obelisks, symbols, and now DPS plates for you to stand on and do damage. So let's get into it. I recommend these subclasses. If anything, bring a well or two. Bring one divinity, everyone else on linears and fusions for boss damage. Otherwise, you can use your favorite ad clear weapons. As you enter the arena, familiarize yourself with this general layout. This encounter takes place on three floors that you will climb up to. All floors are similar with long walkways, DPS plates, but get progressively wider and larger. Make teams of two with the following jobs. Act clear team. First member, go to one side. Other member, go to the other side. Your job is to kill everything to clear up the room, defend the obelisk, and defend your fire team. Recommend roaming back and forth along this vantage point, spawn killing with Wither Horde, and clearing the room in general. Stun team. There will be a large platform like this on each floor. Meet up there. Stunner 1. Focus on shooting face. This opens backpack. Stunner 2. Shoot the open backpack to stun. Boss will slowly move towards the obelisk. Follow him. Continue shooting face. Shoot backpack. Stun him. Don't fall off. And help out with ads from time to time. He also releases these. Shoot them because they will track onto you. Symbols team. Each floor has only one room with one layout. It will be filled with symbols you need to pick up and shoot on the obelisk. So, remember what you picked up. It's your choice to use the room layouts to navigate but it is dark in there. There are wizards, thralls, and I recommend just going in to get a feel of the room for yourself. Shoot crystal to open door, go inside, start picking up symbols, and you'll find the rooms on each floor aren't all that different from each other. Later floors have more platforms and might need to jump more to reach a symbol or two. So, symbols team workflow is one person going at a time, pick up two symbols, make sure the door's open to let the teammate out, wait for offering, and shoot the symbols together on the obelisk. So communicate what symbols you're picking up in advance. Get ready to find those symbols on the obelisk and shoot together once your offering is up next. Even other fire team members can help shoot. Try to be quick and don't die to pervading darkness. So all symbols on the obelisk have been completed. You get the spiritual completed message. Now, time for DPS. Each floor has three DPS plates. Here, there, and there. As a team, you'll need to move around from plate to plate. Plates all start off as idle, but then they glow, indicating you can do damage inside that plate. Okay, but which plate to go to first? Through power of communication and observation, the team should determine which direction the boss is moving. Okay, boss is coming up from the left side. Everyone meet at the left closest DPS plate. Don't waste heavy yet. Wait for this message. Your plate will then begin glowing. Then you can do DPS. While you're doing damage, this message will eventually appear. It means it's time to wrap up your DPS and go to the next plate. The next plate should already be glowing. So DPS, watch for the message and go to the next plate. Final plate in rotation, wait for glow, damage, wait for message to stop DPS. Here, the boss moved to the left. So you will always move from the leftmost plate to center plate, then to the last plate. But what if the boss decided to go to the right side instead? Well, it's the same DPS steps and mechanics. Boss moving up from right. We all meet at the right side plate. Wait for glow, damage. Time to stop DPS, move to center plate. Repeat, wait for glow, damage. Then it's time to move to the last plate. Wait for glow, time to damage. Then you're done. Focus on the glow and this message so you don't waste ammo when he's immune. Like this clip, for example. Except for the first plate, all subsequent plates should be glowing by the time you get there. With enough damage, he will dematerialize and you'll move on to the next floor. Now, just repeat all steps for two more floors. Complete obelisk, meet on correct plate, DPS. Sure, the floors might look a little different from each other, but you do it perfectly on one floor, you'll be golden for the rest. Now, once you finish all three floors, there is a final stand. Make your way up the final staircase. Remember the same DPS mechanics. I don't want to spoil this because this was awesome the first time I experienced it. That's the caretaker encounter explained in minutes. This one was a little trickier, so I really hope I didn't confuse anyone by repeating as much as I could. Give it a few tries and you'll be good to go. In the meantime, I'll be recording and making exhibition and the final boss fight. In the meantime, if this helped or something you'd like to see more of, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Later.